Good morning, guys. It is Sonia. Boy, it feels like I just went to bed. And I'm back at it again this morning. Easing into the day, I am heading off to my morning regular stop, which is McDonald's, so we can get some coffee. And right now, it is a warm 50 degrees. 50 degrees. Uh, and I am here with a jacket, a sweatshirt, and a t-shirt on. And I'm sure some of you guys are waking up this morning in your tank shirts, in your tank tops. And I'm so jealous. Hi, no, ready. Hi, can I do a large coffee with six cream, please? Yeah, yeah and also, could I do a, um, a sausage, egg, cheese, McGriddle, please? And I'm not sure if you know me, but I'm the one that's allergic to fish, so I'm not sure if you guys are doing fish this morning or not. Thank you. For, I see you put that up for a special request. I appreciate that. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Thank you. Food allergies. Not fun. I feel like I have to say a million more words before I eat than anyone else. Know what I'm saying? So... I have not been doing like full on keto the last few weeks. I've been uh, what I would call keto-ish, meaning that I'm still having keto meals, but definitely haven't been putting myself into ketosis. It's just been too stressful just with um, going through this whole season of buying a house and looking to move. And honestly, I've cleaned out my current house. I don't have anything in the refrigerator. Last garbage day, I cleaned everything out of that. I have no um, utensils or anything to cook with because that's all packed up to come with me. Tonight is our first night in our new house and so I can't wait to get a kitchen set up there. But I feel like I'm really in between worlds and so um, I'm just going to tell you a sausage McGriddle sounds wonderful this morning. This is the first time, like this past month is the first time I've ever, I've ever had a McDonald's sausage McGriddle. And can somebody tell me how they make it taste like there's pancake syrup in the buns? Yes, I've done them bunless, but this morning, like I say, I just, uh, I need some comforting carbs this morning, and uh, so it's going to be good. Last night, I worked at the shop till 10.30 at night, so if I sound really tired, <laughs> my coffee will wake me up. I worked late last night, and um, packing and shipping, and Carrie came and helped me, thank goodness, with all the packing and shipping. You guys know we ran a Mother's Day special. Um, well, let me just tell you, we had hundreds and hundreds of, or of orders, and so yesterday I wanted to get a, just a head start on everything. Good morning. Perfect. Thank you. Not too hot. That's good. Thank you so much. Doesn't that look good right there? Oh my gosh! Mmm, it's so good. I'm gonna tell you, there is something to be thankful for every single day. You just gotta look for it. And right now, I am thankful for taste buds. Because food is just one of those things that, uh, first bite of a McGriddle on an empty stomach. Uh, <laughs> it's so good. Mm, say it with me. We are thankful for taste buds today. So this is where we're at as of this morning. All this packing and shipping right here. There's a lot, but I'm glad we got through all that yesterday. So now this morning, I'm gonna pick up from there so we can get your happy mail out as soon as humanly possible. Look at all that happy mail, happy mail. I call the post office to warn them that um, they might need to do a few pickups today because I'm planning to add to this entire mountain. We've got a lot of boxes to go out, so I just want to give you guys a heads up. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Right. Bye-bye. So, yeah, I'm going to work on these next, and then I've got to jump into my coaching group. It's me again, and it's a couple hours later. I'm maybe I'll just sit in the car. Anybody else just love to sit in the car, especially when it rains and you just want to sit here. Maybe just scroll on your phone, 
I don't know, just chillax. <laughs> so I just finished my coaching session into my coaching group on Mondays at 3 p.m. I have a special group um, for other creatives who just kind of want to get some help in growing their business. And now I need to refuel. It is right now 4.23 in the afternoon. I haven't ate anything since this morning. So I'm starving and I think I'm going to buy myself an entire chicken. Like you won't judge me, right? If I just go in and buy an entire rotisserie chicken um, and just devour the chicken. If that bothers you, you might want to look away. When I'm done with said chicken, I'm going to show you guys um, my recent haul, some, some of my great finds, my scores from a recent thrifting um, visit that I did with you guys. I'm trying to think what store we went to. I think it was Goodwill or the Salvation Army. I think it was Goodwill and I got some really cool stuff for the new house and so I'm going to show you some of, some of my thrift finds that I really like and now that you've seen the house you'll probably be like oh yeah that will fit really nice with it so anyway I'll show you what I found in just a second but let's go score some rotisserie chicken and figure out something for a side I think maybe coleslaw I don't know we'll see okay this is what I ended up getting in there got my rotisserie chicken hello 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 i mean you pay 5.99 for a rotisserie oh, sorry 6.99 for a rotisserie chicken but it lasts me like at least two days and so i'm happy with that oh it's steaming tasty delicious and then i've been loving on these as well this is the rice cauliflower but this particular kind have you guys tried it yet it's called savory herb and then i picked up these because these are like one of my favorite munchies ever pepper jack cheese cubes Oh my goodness, these are so good if you haven't tried it. I am addicted to pepper jack cheese. And then of course I got a big water. I like buying my waters in the big size because it makes me it makes me drink and see what I've actually taken the time to drink of that day. Look, do you see how much rain there is? How wet it is? All right, I want to show you guys something in the back trunk. I'm excited to finally get this to the new house. This is going to be what I found recently when you guys went junking with me. $3.99 I scored this mirror for right here. Got lots of small walls and sometimes you just need small decor for your small walls. So what do you guys think of this one? The mirror. Love, love, love the mirror. You can have, never have too many mirrors. Although it's kind of freaky when you think about it. Like how many people have looked in that mirror? You know, if, the st if it could talk, the stories it would tell. All right, I think this was really cool. This was a Crate and Barrow um, glass vase that I got for super duper cheap for just a couple bucks. And I don't know, I might put some pussy willows in here. We'll see, could look really cool on my table, which hopefully will get in place tomorrow. I'll show you in the vlog if it happens. So I bought this for just a cheap um, table centerpiece. All right, now we can read the funnies together. I found this. This is like one of the things that I just fell in love with like the moment I saw it. Like look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Could you see that in my new house just with the vibe that it has? And I got it for like $1.99. So I just thought that was beautiful. Can't wait to put a candle in there. And I do like like just like mingling my candle holders so they're not all the same. So that is so nice. But yet putting them together in like collections of three. So for example, we've got this one. And if I want, I can pair it with the other two. Let me put this down so I don't break it. For heaven's sake, don't break it, son. Don't break it. So we a deal if you can keep it alive until you get it in place. And then I got the other two candle holders for a buck ninety nine piece as well. So I might put these all together, this entire set together. This kind of has that gold warmness to it, even though that's silver and this is like a bronze color. The fact that this is warm and this is like really, it's kind of like it's turned, it's got a patina to it. I think it might match just fine together. So some cream candles in it, I think will be cool. And I got two of those guys. So cheap, so cheap. So what do you like best so far? My candle holders, the big candle holder, my vase. Um, or my mirror and I got one other thing. I'm gonna go inside and show you that because oh, I just clunked my head Did you guys hear that? If I'm never the same again, you'll know what happened All right, I'm gonna take you guys inside and show you the last thing that I found as well And now we're inside and this is the last thing I bought. I bought that chair. Who remembers seeing it on the vlog here? 
I got this chair. I thought it was perfect. You know, a chair like this um, is not cheap. I love all the carvings. It's got that French provincial Queen Anne sort of look to it. I love the beige, the neutrals. I am seeing it with a nice pillow. When I see this tag, it means that it's been sprayed. So when I buy fabric-y things, especially from like thrift stores, I always look to make sure that it actually has been um, disinfectant. And they, they list the date that it was done and of course the, uh, the date and their initials. But I'm thinking this in place in my new house with a really fun, we'll have to go cushion hunting, like a little pillow, something cute for right there. I think it'd be so cute. And for this chair, I paid, you see, $29.99 for this chair. I'm not somebody who like, typically like likes to pay that much for things at a thrift store, but this was such a nice chair, and I know it's worth a lot more than $29.99. So, yeah, go on Wayfair and check out the prices. Not cool. Not cool for my wallet. So $29.99 sounds a whole lot better. All right, I'm gonna sit in my chair here and chat with you guys for a second and close out the vlog. So hopefully you enjoyed this day in the life and what I did find at my recent thrift store visit for the new space for decorating. I love decorating on a budget and I don't know, there's just something about the thrill of the hunt and putting it all together. I think it is so cool. Thank you guys for following along here with me on my journey. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. That would be amazing. Tell me what was your favorite thrift store find that you saw me pull out of the trunk today. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.